Good morning, this is Sage for Kalkine. Thank you for joining us yet again as we bring you the Australian Market Open Report. The ASX 200 today, ASX opens lower amid weak US market. In summary, the ASX 200 opened on Wednesday lower down 7.20 points or 0.11% to 6,817.50, taking cues from the sluggish US stock market. The top performers in the index were New Map Limited and Fortescue Metals Group Limited, up 4.61 and 4.03% respectively. The bottom performing stocks were Flight Centre Travel Group Limited and Linus Rare Earths Limited, down 3.34% and 3.25% respectively. The Australian market is expected to watch the inflation data scheduled to be released today closely. According to experts, the inflation may surge by 0.7% in the fourth quarter of 2020. In the opening trade, the bottom performing stocks in the index were Flight Centre Travel Group Limited and Linus Rare Earths Limited down 3.33% and 3.24% respectively. The ASX 200 has gained 0.70% in the last five days. However, the index is down 3.85% for the last 52 weeks. The broader All Ordinaries Index was up 0.459% and the ASX 200 VIX Index was 2.646%. In gainers and losers, the top performers in the index were Nearmap Limited and Fortescue Metals Group Limited, up 4.61 and 4.03% respectively. The bottom performing stocks were Flight Centre, Travel Group Limited and Linus Rare Earths Limited, down 3.34% and 3.25% respectively. Sectoral movement. While the ASX 200 Consumer Discretionary Index was up 1.175%, the ASX 200 Information Technology gained 1.063% in the opening trade. The ASX Dividend Opportunities Index was also up 1.008%. The ASX 200 Energy was down 1.207%, while the ASX 200 Industrials was lower by 0.934%. Alliance is also up in the early trade. In Newsmakers, Brainship on Wednesday announced the latest progress in the development of its Akita computer chip against the December quarter of last year. The company's operating cash flow surged to 2.7 million US dollars. On the other hand, Oracorp recorded 58% sequential growth in lithium production on account of surge in demand in the market. Booktopia reported a 52% rise in the first half revenue to 113 million Australian dollars. Thank you for watching. This is Sage for Kalkine.